Meanwhile, more Gaza hostages were freed on Wednesday as mediators raced to broker another extension to the truce between Israel and the Hamas militants. And this hours before it was due to expire. Underscoring the urgency, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in Israel for talks on aid for Gaza and the truce extension. But in a sign of challenges facing the negotiators, a Hamas source stated that the militant group were not satisfied with Israel's proposals for another extension. As per media reports, Israel's war cabinet was meeting late on Wednesday over proposals to extend the truce. And speaking to news agency AFP, a Hamas source expressed dissatisfaction regarding the proposals in the discussions to extend the truce. Now, as talks continued, 10 Israeli hostages arrived back in Israel. Among them, five women, three children and two 18-year-old men. Another four Thai hostages were also released, along with two women holding a dual Russian and Israeli citizenship. Now, the release of the two women were described by Hamas as a recognition of the efforts of Russian President Vladimir Putin in the ongoing war between Israel and the Hamas militant group. In return, according to the Qatari Foreign Ministry, Israel released 30 Palestinians, 14 women and 16 minors. Alongside emotional reunions, there were fresh reminders of the tragic stakes of the ongoing war. Israel's army stated that it was probing a report by Hamas that a 10-month-old baby hostage his four-year-old brother and their mother had all been killed in bombing in Gaza. In a statement, it said, it is assessing the accuracy of the information. With tensions high, the Palestinian Health Ministry in the West Bank stated that the Israeli army shot and killed an eight-year-old boy and a teenager. The military said that the troops had responded with live fire after explosive devices had been thrown at them. The World Food Programme has warned Gaza's population that it faces a high risk of famine if the humanitarian organization is not able to provide continued access to food in the Gaza Strip. The spokesperson for the Hamas-run territory's health ministry said that the doctors found five premature babies dead in Gaza's city's Al Nasser hospital. According to UN, an estimated 1.7 million Palestinians in Gaza have been forced to leave their homes so far. More than half the territory's population, that is. Yeah, <laughs> Alhamdulillah.